Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly from Chic Antique. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a trash to treasure makeover on a desk I found for free on Facebook Marketplace. This desk has some of the worst water damage I've ever seen on a desktop. And there are cat scratches. There is a missing trim piece on one of the feet. So we are going to be making over this piece using chalk paint, my favorite style of paint. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So here's the piece we're gonna be working on today. It is a solid wood desk. I got this one for free off Marketplace. And as you can see, it is pretty beat up. On this side here, these are all cat scratches actually, so pretty bad. And the top has extreme water damage, so I'm going to show you how to repair that. And there is a missing trim piece on this leg that I'm going to talk to you about a little bit later. So first we're going to start out as we always do, removing the hardware. After we get all the hardware removed, I'm going to be cleaning the piece. I'm going to use Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. This is a TSP cleaner. I'm going to mix a couple teaspoons of that with some warm water. And now I'm just gonna clean the piece with that. And any of the corners or cracks that I couldn't reach with this rag, I did use an old toothbrush to get in there. And here's what the water looked like after cleaning everything with white lightning. Now to rinse off the cleaner, I'm just going to be using some warm water in a rag. And here's how that water looked again on that second pass. Now I'm going to be sanding everything down starting with 80 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander. This is sped up a lot but I did take my time to remove all the old finish off this top and any of the varnish that was peeling off. This video here is just to show you the progress with that 80 grit sandpaper. It really does get rid of that old finish, everything that's peeling off, all the damage. And this is the worst part of the desk. You can see that water damage there. The black rings went all the way into the wood, so I wasn't able to get those out. But you can see how easily the varnish is coming up because that finish is just completely failing at this point. So we want to remove that in order to get the paint to stick properly. And 
and here's how the entire top looked after using that 80 grit sandpaper. You can see those watermarks, those deep black marks I wasn't able to get out. Now I'm continuing sanding on the drawers using that 80 grit sandpaper as well. Next, I'm going to be using 120 grit sandpaper to continue to smooth everything out. And I'm just continuing with that 120 grit on the rest of the piece. And I did fill in all those scratches and any of the damage. I just didn't show it because I think it's kind of boring to watch, but I did fill in any damage with wood filler. And then just continuing on with the drawers. And my final pass of sandpaper, I'm using 220 grit. I want this piece to be as smooth as I can get it, so I'm using this 220 grit to make everything as smooth as possible. And I did use the 220 grit on the rest of the piece, including these drawers. Now, after sanding, I'm going to remove all that dust using a tack cloth. To prime this piece, I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's Boss. It blocks odor, stains, and stops bleed through. I am using this to smooth out the finish and to prevent any possible odors from escaping the wood. Since this is a really old piece and it's really beat up, I just want to make sure it is as professional as I can get it. And I'm using my Zebra Chiseled Wedge Brush to apply this. After two coats of boss, I'm going to be painting with Dixie Belle's Chalk Mineral Paint in the color Caviar. And again, I'm going to be using that Zebra Chiseled Wedge Brush to apply it.
hard to capture this color on camera, but it is a rich black color. It almost looks gray in most of my footage, but I promise you it is black. <laughs> You can see it is applying really, really smoothly. If you want to get a similar finish to this, I would recommend sanding as much as you can using multiple grits, using a self-leveling paint like Dixie Belle's chalk paint, and using a synthetic brush like this one. All of those things are gonna give you a very smooth finish. Now I'm just continuing the painting process on the rest of the piece here. The coverage on this paint is so shocking to me. This is one coat as you can see and it's almost complete full coverage. I only needed two coats to achieve full coverage on this piece. In just a second, I'm gonna show you this foot here that I repaired. I used a technique by Cristana from Bella Renovare here on YouTube. I made a mold of another leg using hot glue, and then I filled that mold with Bondo, and then I shaped it and sanded it and created this foot here, and I attached it with some heavy duty glue. And as you can see, as I paint over it, it is completely seamless. And so if you guys are looking for a similar repair for piece for you, I will have that tutorial linked in the description. Now I'm just continuing that process on the drawers here. After two coats of paint, I'm going to be sealing this piece using Dixie Belle's clear coat in a satin finish. As you can see, this clear coat has a little bit of a tint when you're applying it. That way you can see where you've placed it, but it does dry crystal clear. I'm applying this vertically in order to create as smooth of a finish as I can. I'm applying in a section and then going back and smoothing out that section and then continuing that process. I definitely recommend if you're sealing a dark piece like this, especially a black piece, to mix in a little bit of your paint to the clear coat so that it doesn't leave any streak marks. It helps the clear coat blend in more when you mix in a little bit of the paint. So I would definitely recommend doing that. Thank you. 
Now, just continuing that process on the rest of the piece, I'm showing you how I applied it to the left side of this desk. You can see within moments it already starts becoming clear after you've applied it, so don't worry if it's looking blue or white when you first apply it, it will dry clear, I promise. And here's that clear coat on the drawers as well, just to show you what that looks like. And I did apply two coats of this for extra durability. Now that it's all finished, I'm just reminding you what we started with. And here's how it looks now. And here's that left foot that I repaired. It is completely seamless. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this makeover today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll stick around and watch a couple more of my videos. I just uploaded a nightstand makeover. We did a bright boho look. I'll have it linked in the eye up here as well as down below. Um, I have an ASMR video on a dining set makeover and a bunch of other stuff that I think you might like. So I'll have all those linked down below for you to check out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello. Let anyone? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Shut up. Dude, what are you screaming about? Chill. 
Oh my gosh. I hate birds. Dude. Looks so good. I don't like painting in silence, guys. You ever just 